everybody, Chad Westport here, and today we're going to get some hydroton clay pebbles ready for use in our gardens. Now, hydroton, it's kind of a generic name, clay pebbles. You search for one, you'll get the other. So that's what you would type into your search engines to find the right products. Um, there's a few ways that you could use this in your gardens. You could use it in kind of a hydroponic setup where it's nothing but hydroton pebbles. I'm gonna use it slightly different. What I'm gonna be using it as is a bottom layer in my pot for drainage. Now this is a pot that's gonna be fed from the bottom. So I'll show you that setup in another uh, video. But today I just wanted to go through this and get it prepared. Let you guys know how to do it at home too. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wash the balls first. And just out of curiosity, we're gonna see how dirty the water is to make sure that this actually makes sense. And we're also gonna check the pH and the PPM of the water as we rinse it through. And then once we rinse that through, I'm gonna let it soak for 24 hours. There's a lot of opinions out there. Soak it anywhere from, you know, two hours to 24 hours. So for the sake of this first part, I have the container in a little plastic bin and that's how we'll collect the water but you see here it's almost just like a strainer or a colander you could use one of those to clean your balls i just happen to have a pot that's shaped like that it's going to work perfectly for cleaning the balls but first let's check the ph and the ppm of the water i'm going to use to clean them so right now the ph meter is reading 6.6 .6, and that's not a magical number it's just a frame of reference so when we check the runoff from this we'll have something to compare and contrast that final number with and the water is at a 0, 0.0 ec it's actually at 30 ppm using the 700 ppm scale all right let's pour some water through and see what kind of runoff we get it gonna be dirty and brown oh yeah i already see it's brown man Woo yeah so definitely folks rinse your balls heard it here first wow you can actually see where the dirt and little particles drained out of the pot there's still there's a pot mark in there and a lot of particle in there so these are going to need a very good rinsing before we soak and you know if you have larger amount of this hydroton something like a laundry bag bathtub those are great or great tools to use to soak a large amount of these fortunately i just need a small amount so i'll stick to the pots but whew, a lot of rinsing going on here don't skip this step so it looks like ph is still 6.6 .6 no change in the water from pouring it through to collecting it afterwards. The overall EC went from 0, 0.0 to 0, 0.2 EC. Again EC stands for electrical conductivity and the PPM which is parts per million went from 30 PPM to 130 PPM uh, difference from beginning to end that actually builds a bit of confidence in me that this isn't going to sway a bunch. This isn't going to add a bunch of, you know, mystery minerals in there. I'm going to continue rinsing, but then we'll get to our soak here in a second. The water that I'm going to be using to soak the hydroton clay balls in for 24 hours it is at a pH of 6.4, which is good. It's on target with my desired medium, which ultimately will be soil. Let's also check the PPM so we have something to compare the water after the soak to the water before the soak just to see if it gained or lost any acidity or PPMs. So if you're keeping track by EC it's at 0, 0.0 again and if you're keeping track by PPM it is at 30 PPMs. Now we'll just let it soak. All right, so when I last left you, I said I was gonna let these soak for 24 hours. Well, life happens and it's 72 hours later. Good thing is, it's not gonna hurt these at all. So, it's okay. Uh, we still want to check though, so let's get some water in my cup. And you guys remember what it looked like when we were rinsing it? 
Well, comparatively, that looks pretty darn clear. So that's a good sign. I still want to check the PPM and the pH though. So let's do that real quick. All right, so the PPM went from 30 PPMs in the beginning to now it's sitting at 590 PPMs. The EC went from 0.0, .0 to 0 0.8. Now that is quite the fluctuation. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rinse it one more time I'm gonna let it soak for a few hours and I'm gonna see what I get. Haven't even checked the pH yet, but just based on PPM alone, I'm gonna do a couple more steps. All right, so I let it soak again for a couple hours. It had a PPM of 170. I let it soak for 24 hours and that went up to 290. So it's about half of what it was after the first soak. Uh, me just being me, I want it as low as I possibly can. Can you plant into this right now? Eh, probably but I like to control all the variables that I can. I want this as low as I possibly can, so I'm going to rinse and repeat. After the third 24 hour soak, PPMs come in at 150. After the fourth 24 hour soak, it is coming in at 100 PPMs right now, with basically a starting PPM of 50 this time, so therefore there's really 50 PPM left in these clay balls. Um, that's going to be good enough for me. I could probably rinse it again. I could probably get a little bit lower. Uh, I did want it lower than the initial 590 because again if things start going sideways with your grow and you can't figure out why and you didn't wash these, well it could be them but it could also not be them. So take that doubt out of your mind. Wash your balls before you use them. Try to get that PPM as low as you can. Make sure the pH is stable. But these, for me, are now ready for use. I appreciate you hanging in there and watching this video. It took a lot longer than I thought it would because I had more of a jump than I thought I would. But it's important to control your variables, so don't leave yourself guessing later. For now, I am Chad Westport. Find me chadwestport.com. You can also check me out on Instagram, chad.westport. And right here on YouTube, Chad Westport. Party on. Fuck you.